Good afternoon folks, welcome back. Sorry about the shaking, we're doing handheld cam at the moment, but we're at Stivian's Dam. So we're just making our way over to the actual dam. So let's go. It's really hot here. Can't believe how hot it is folks. We are allowed in on this one. Brilliant. There's people on enjoying the uh, the water. See how low it is. I've never seen it that low before. Flipping heck! It's crazy low, isn't it, folks? <coughs> I've never seen those pipes before. You see them pipes there? seen those before. Flipping heck, it really is low, isn't it? Blimey. So the last time we came down here it was probably winter time and uh, there's water, you see the bits over there, there's water gushing over there folks. Which is crazy, isn't it? You know? Oh yeah, we've never seen those pipes before. That's, that's bloody really low, isn't it? Stones. Apparently there's a stone circle that's been um, shown because of the low of the water, so it's uh, crazy, crazy low. But yeah, shall we carry on? Let's carry on. So, yeah. It's a pipe river. Unusual. I've never seen that before. Oh look, Doggy's enjoying himself. Don't blame him, do you? So we're making our way slowly. So doing some work over here. We flew the drone over here, I don't know, six weeks ago, is it? Doing a lot of work there, so... New construction for water treatment or whatever. But yeah, see, so yes, the last time we came here, there was water gushing over that. Blimey. I don't expect many people to jump on today, but uh, we're going to be on for at least half an hour, I think. Maybe longer. So what we're going to try and do is walk down the coast path, I think. We're not, we'll go down towards the nature reserve, but I've got the drone with me, so when I do eventually fly, I'm going to have to keep away from the nature reserve, because that's, uh, that's a big no. So what we'll do is we'll get the drone up later and uh, see if we can uh, locate the stone circle that we've come across. The wind's getting up here. Oh, oh. I'm stuck in the water there, look. So there's the water treatment works. I think it's changed quite a bit over the years. Uh, this building in front of us is a is newish, but it's not brand new. But it's been there a while, folks. Don't really know how long it's been there. But a while. Yeah. It's certainly really busy over there, aren't they? All right. Sorry for the wobbling, it's a bit difficult doing handheld. I should have brought more kit with me. So that's the water that's going out to anybody that lives around this area. That's the water that's going out. So it's a lot of water, it's dropping all the time. It's dropping, not a lot, but enough. Yeah, so what that is, it's basically an inlet pipe. There's a series of them. I'll, I'll try and count how many I can see, folks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, tw
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 or 21 of these there is all around, which is uh, quite a lot, isn't it? So just think how much water that's sucking in, you know, and this is not being replenished either, folks. This is gradually being seeped away. So crazy, isn't it? So we've got a small outlet pipe down there and another one there. So yeah, interesting, eh? Right, let's carry on. I think there might be something of interest in this field up here, but we'll have a look. Sorry about the wobbling. <coughs> Just let you know we're at Stivian's Lake. This is the reservoir part here now. Sorry about the wind noise, we should get out of that in a second. Sorry about the wobbling if it's wobbling too much. I'm not sure if I've got the gimbal with me, I think if I have now. So here we are. So the public footpath should go to the right. So let's climb up the steps, which is a little bit tricky. It's not too bad. Right. Okay, so we should be sheltered out of the wind now. Hello the five people, how you doing? It is bloody baking here. I've got a drink with me, so we're all good. Jeffrey, hello. How you doing, mate? We've got some kind of post there. Don't know what that is all about. Looks looks pretty old, doesn't it? Probably dates from when the reservoir was created. I think it was created in the 60s. I'm thinking 63, folks. I don't really know. Remember, I can remember my granddad saying it, it was made in the 60s and it and it helped a lot of people, folks, because before that, everybody used to go and harvest their own water. Uh, I can remember my granddad saying, because they used to live down a place called Todpool, which is uh, near St. Day. Jeff, I don't blame you, mate. It is really hot here too, so I don't know how long I can stay out in this, to be honest. But we're going to try our best for over half an hour. So I've never walked on this path before. This is a bit of a new one for me. Obviously, I've been around the reservoir quite a bit, but this bit has escaped my attention. So that's why we're here. Having a little look. So I think in a minute we'll get down to the the water side and uh, survey how much the water has dropped because I've been told it has dropped a lot. We can see that it has dropped a lot. <clears throat> so that's today's objective. Sorry about the shaking. Baking up here, look at that. So we was down at Drift at Reservoir not too long ago, and the water has dropped down there quite considerably as well. So, oh, someone's done a, oh, midges, oh, flipping out. 
God blimey, hear them. Balancing this rock there, folks. So let's have a look at that. Let's have a little look. So usually, you can't get nowhere near here because it's flooded. But not today. Look at that rock, folks. That's been balanced, isn't it? Look at these massive granite coins. Jeez, wheeze. Oh. Old shovel or something. So we're right by the water edge now, so usually you can't go here because it's flooded. <laughs> but, uh... <gasps> oh, bug. Bug off. Sorry about that. We had a bug. Now, whoever put that there is a clever chap. That is brilliant. I like that. What do you reckon, folks? Do you like that? Yeah? Um, so it won't be long before we get our boat out now. Um, I'm buying another engine for it. And uh, we're buying a four horse. Sorry, no, it's a bigger than a four horse. It's six horse and it's four stroke. And it's going to send my little boat along at quite a rate. Unfortunately, I don't think we can get me, Chris and David on the boat all at the same time. So I don't think it's man enough, but it's a 3.3 metre, folks. So it's, it's decent size, but it's, uh, yeah, we'll see how it pans out, basically. But um, we'll try and get three of us on it. I think we might be able to do it. It's just me being me, I guess. You can definitely see how much the water's dropped here, you know, it's uh, crazy, crazy. So I think we're going to go on a bit more actually, so shall we go on? Yeah? So I think these stones are from left from possibly a, an old farmhouse or something that they knocked down and just left the rocks here because you can see that these rocks are being dressed. Look at that one. It's been squared up, isn't it folks? You've got uh, holes in that one over there, so it's it's all dressed stone. So obviously from some kind of building that is no more. There's a lot of stone over there, and it's all dressed as well. Look, look at that, but it's all squared up, so it's being used on something. But uh, I've been told that there's a lot of houses that were knocked down when this um, reservoir was constructed. <clears throat> yeah, there's a lot of stone here, isn't there? Blimey. Can't believe how much is there. We'll carry on a bit further, I think. Fishermen there, enjoying possibly catching some fish. Don't know what fish are in here, but obviously there is some. See, he's got a hydration pack on. We're we're going to get one of those, folks. I think they hold about three liters. X, X military, military surface. I'm going to sneeze. I think. It's not hay fever. It's just dust. I don't suffer with hay fever. Thank God. No. I think we can go another 14 minutes. Phone is getting a bit warm. It is really hot today, and I am obviously streaming, so that's going to be a factor, isn't it? Can look at this piece of stone here. That's been there for a very long time. Yeah. So, if anyone's watching me and you're around the area, if you know where I am. Come and say hello, I don't bite, honestly. It's not very often I say that. What I mean is, I'm quite happy to meet the public at a location like this. But when we're on Explores, then I've got to, I can't do that, unfortunately, because it's uh, nine times out of 10, the locations that we go to are high risk. That was an old wall there, look. 
so when we're out on proper explorers uh, I can't always interact with everyone but uh, that's a very old wall isn't it yeah probably donates the valley I wonder how deep this valley is because we don't really know <clears throat> I wonder if it's, it's got to be some pictures in almost oh look there's a that's been repurposed look that's probably a gate um, you can see that that's been split it's been chiseled those holes donate to where it's been split when it was in the quarry folks so all this rock here has been reused uh, obviously today it's just derelict or just left but yeah that's clearly an old farm wall isn't it the men that put that there won't be along round anymore will they yeah. lovely bit of granite I'm surprised they didn't sell this granite off when they were doing this uh, reservoir because granite is worth money folks and there's a lot of money here in granite <coughs> yeah so I don't always meet people when we're out exploring unless someone comes up to us and say oh are you Kerno EXP yeah <laughs> but uh, yeah so I invite anybody if you know where I am Come down and say hello because I'm going to be here for a while yet. So don't do that very often because, as, as I said, normally we're on high risk explorers and I just can't do that. But uh, it's lovely here, folks. I wonder if you're allowed to launch your boat from d down here or no. I don't know. I'll have to have a look online. <coughs> Excuse me. So we'll start moving on a bit now so we'll get so down here I think this is the beginning of the nature reserve so I cannot fly the drone around this bit I do know that the rest of it's fair game but all the way I think it's past those boys actually over there once you get past the boys it's a nature reserve so no fly zone basically oh what's this is this tarmac it bloody is by the looks of it. Oh no, it's just mud. It looked like tarmac for a minute. Oh, somebody's dropped out. Hello, the six people in. How are you doing, folks? Hope you're all good. Sorry about the wobbling. It's a bit difficult to uh, doing my best. <laughs> so we're not far. Oh, there's another wall. I think we'll get to the wall over there. Look, there's, a, there's another wall down there. So we'll get over there, I think. And uh, we'll come off the live stream because we've been on, what's it, 20 minutes nearly now. So doing good. Hope everyone's enjoying it. Sorry about the wobbling. There's a lot of walls down there, isn't there? God, blimey. God. Oh, someone's doing a bit of wild swimming. <laughs> Brave man. Mind you, it's probably nice and warm. I'm glad the sea's not bollock naked. <laughs> quite refreshing isn't it yeah. right so we're past the boys now so here's the boys you can just see them there so I'll just pan across nice and steadily a minute there you go I think that donates the nature reserve folks they don't want anyone coming down here <coughs> So this is a very old wall here. Look at this one. This is in good condition. Actually, wait a minute. It looks like an old lane. Bloody hell, it is too. Look at that. <laughs> I 
it's an old lane, folks. Oh my God, I never thought I'd find this. Look at that. Going into nowhere. That's magic, isn't it? Imagine the horse from carts coming up and down here back in the day. That's amazing. Real sense of place, isn't it? So I wonder where it used to go. I wonder if there's any pictures of that when it was before it was flooded. Possible, isn't it? So it looks like there's some more down here, so let's go and have a look. Just motor across here a minute, folks. <coughs> so there's some more walls there. I don't know if that's another lane or no. It looks like it. Bloody hell. So usually, where I am now is below water. Yeah, it's another lane, folks. Look at that. Go and have a little look at this. Look at that. Right, so I think we'll get up to this wall here and we'll call it because we've walked quite a distance now. I don't want to bore you all because I notice you're, the guys watching are slowly dropping off. So, <laughs> so we'll get to this wall and we'll call it, I think. That'll be it. So I hope you enjoyed this walk at uh, Stivian's Lake. There'll probably be a drone video coming up at some stage today. Uh, but I've got to walk down the other end for that because I can't fly around here. It would be taking the biscuit a bit, wouldn't it? I would expect some comments saying, oh, you can't fly there, boy. You're in a nature reserve. Yeah, I know. So that's why we're not going to fly here. Not right at this place, anyway. Let's see if we can get right to the edge if we can. If it's not too boggy. Doesn't look too bad. It is a bit boggy there, yeah. Don't think we can get much further to be honest. Because the ground is a bit boggy there, so yeah, we'll call it. Right. Hope you enjoyed the live stream folks. We will be doing some more. Not from this location of course. And not no more today, I don't think. But uh, we will be back. We've got a lot of things happening this week, so I uh, can't divulge any of that at the moment because I've been sworn to secrecy, but uh, I'm sure you'll all find out in due course. So from Kona EXP, I'm going to sign off. So we'll see you later. Cheers and gone.